Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in. Allahumma anfa'ni bima allamtani wa adlimni bima yunfa'uni wa zidni ilman innaka al-alimul hakim. Allahumma akhrijna min zulumat al-wahm wa akrimna binur al-fahm wa afta'alayna bima'rifat al-ilm wa sahil akhlaqana bil-hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل. My short talk today is about congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation. It is the old name and the new name is congenital pulmonary airway malformation. It is about 25% of congenital lung lesions, and it is estimated about 1 to 1,500 to 4,000 live births, and it is male epidominance. And it is a multi-cystic masses of segmental lung tissue with abnormal bronchial proliferation and considered what part of a spectrum of uh, bronchopulmonary for gut malformation. So this is congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation or congenital CBAM, pulmonary airway malformation. It is, as we said, it is a congenital proliferation replaces the alveoli. And we have three types of the this disease and it is on it is on imaging or pathologic examination type 1 we have fifth involve about 50% of patient we have large cyst 2 to from 2 to 10 cm and type 2 it is about about 40% with the numerous cyst of uniform size about two centimeter and type three it is a beer solid on a gross inspection and on the imaging contain micro cyst microscopic cyst uh, it can be diagnosed during uh, during pregnancy as we said see here the heart here and this is the uh, right side and this is the left side and we have multiple cyst one larger cyst probably this is type 1 cystic adenomatoid malformation here another patient with the large cyst on the here and patient with 19 weeks and we see the heart and this is displaced by the cystic uh, masses. I, here, this is a chest X-ray. We see multiple cysts in the left side, pushing the heart and mediastinum to the right side. Here, this is axial CT scan with uh, and coronary constructed images with multiple large cysts consistent with type 1 CBAM. Here, this is uh, another patient with uh, a small cyst on the right lower lobe, and here we see the uniform cyst uh, less than 2 cm, it is probably a type 2. CBAM or CCAM. Here, yeah, large cyst on the right lung, and this is with some air fluid level. 
on it. Another patient with uh, CBAM, six weeks, presented with tachypnea and the cyst here, large cyst and the smaller cyst noted. And this is type 1. Uh, if the child is older in patient, can involve single lobe and the patient presented with uh, usually with the recurrent uh, pulmonary infection. And uh, in addition to the typical respiratory lining and demucine secreting cells, the cells in older patients demonstrate some inflammatory component not seen in the infants. As we see here, this is the chest X-ray. We see lucency in the right mid zone here, and this is the corresponding CT scan. We see multiple large cysts consistent with type 1 CBAM or CCAM. Here, this is an older patient, 50 years. Uh, we have multiple small cystic lesion involving the right lower lobe. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another, in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika.